It is time that we really stop overcomplicating the golf swing. It's as simple as back and forth. Golf instruction has overcomplicated and plagued so many golfers, but you are much more capable of doing a repeatable, effortless, powerful golf swing than you think. But you have to realize what the golf swing is much more like than what it isn't. The action I'm talking about is back and forth. What does that mean? Back and forth, back and forth. You do it in so many other aspects of life. It could even be shaking hands. It's forth and back, kicking a ball, back and forth. Throwing a ball, back and forth. Darts, back and forth. Skipping a stone, back and forth. The list goes on. We do it instinctively, but with all of that golf instruction that you're absorbing from videos, magazines, TV, friends, it's ah, all in your head. We can and need to clear it all out and realize that you are more than capable of hitting good, effective golf shots with a back and forth movement. I'm gonna show you exactly how, but also a wonderful drill that's gonna give you the reliability and accelerate the emphasis and results of the back and forth swing to really refine your consistency and confidence. One of the reasons why I'm sharing this video with you is because just a few weeks ago, one of my friends, he's actually a bowling coach, 10 bin bowling, whatever you want to call it. And I'm an okay bowler, I do it a couple of times a year. But there was something that I asked him and it was really surprising. Just the amount of correlation between a bowling action and a golf swing. You might think, well, okay, yes, bowling is sort of one arm on the side, but in actual fact, a golf swing is kind of the same or at least we want it to be. Or if we do make it a little bit more like a bowling action, it is so much more simple. It has the same kind of movement. We gather the weight of the, the ball, the club, we use the ground and then we release through. Smooth, no rushing, not trying to you know, do a Zorro. We're not trying to manipulate too much when we bowl, but we seem to when we golf. So let's just clear all that nonsense away and resonate those words in your mind of back and forth. It really is as simple as that. So when you can, even if now just go and grab a club, take some practice swings with those words in your mind, back and forth, whatever that means to you, however you can best translate the swing to be as simple as possible. So with that bowling back and forth, okay? You pick your target and all we're thinking about is back and forth. Doesn't mean loose, doesn't mean anything crazy, but I want to hit this club against that ball. That's it. And send it that way. We move back and forth. You can do it. I promise you, you can do it a lot easier when you think less about it. It's back and forth. You'll be shocked at how much it clears so much in your mind up, especially when you're out on the golf course. But now I'm going to show you one of the most effective visuals that you can do to give you that delivery through the ball to have as much precision and confidence as humanly possible when you're out on the course. Okay, so what I have here is a little practice station. You don't have to do this, but I'm using this to give you the visual because all this is about is having intent as we do this back and forth to ensure that we're kind of staying on plane and understanding that the only objective we have is to get this sort of club head on the ball in the direction we want. It's not about over the top. It's not about coming from the inside too much. We're not trying to get too much lag. None of that crap. We're really simplifying our objective and our intent. And what we have here is kind of a tunnel, all right? However you want to phrase it, word it, it's up to you. A tunnel, a path. What I picture and what I've given many students to picture is something that you might see on a golf game or something where there's like a power bar where you can see the direction and the movement that we're going on. And if you can portray this when you stand over the ball, the more accurate and more consistent you're going to be because it's taking away so much stress and focus about what the club head is doing, what your body is doing, where the ball is going to go. Your only objective, just like on a computer game is to get the smooth strike in the sort of hitting zone. 
if you will. And I've got it kind of far apart here, but we can get better and more confident with it and narrow our gap to make our path, our tunnel, a lot more refined. But the idea here isn't about specifics. It's just to understand that in our swing going back and forth, it's along this arc. Because the swing is not just up and down like a pendulum, because we stand on an incline, the swing is basically just a circle on an incline, okay? So that's why you see this sort of arc that we've got here. So as I swing down, I'm entering into the hitting zone along this path and I'm just painting that line all the way through. What it's going to do is increase your margin for error. It's going to increase your confidence and it's really going to reduce the amount of different manipulation you do. To picture this bar going all the way through. Another way to add on to this visual that I found help people is imagine a paintbrush okay, at the end of your club that is doused in paint. You won't want to be doing a quick sort of swipe through with that paintbrush for a short stroke, marking the ground with a, the paint. You'd want as long as possible, constant delivery of equal paint. That's a, another cue that can work very well for people because it's about the club face then, okay? We want a nice smooth club face. We don't want it to be turning, opening, shutting. It's just sort of square to our path painting that brush. So we have that coupled with the back and forth. You've got simplicity beyond belief. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want a bit of help on the short game to make that even simpler, go and check out this video. See you next time.